Uh, Steve Scott Harris, BBC Radio Shropshire, good to see you. Thank you. Uh, let's start with Christian Sadie's hamstring. Can you give us an update on, on how he is? Better than it was. Better than it was. So um, it'll, be, um, it'll be a late call on that one. He's been fundamental to you, hasn't he? He hasn't missed many games this season. No, he hasn't. No, he's done very well since he's come in. We've been really, really pleased with his progress, um, his professionalism. Um, I think that's that's been very good. We've we've been really impressed with him, and and he's a good lad as well, and fits in and around the dressing room, which is which is really, really important. It's almost like he's been a a permanent player for us, a permanent signing. He's come in as have all the other loan signings as well, by the way, but. But yeah, he's been very good, Christian, this season. But it'll be a late call on him. <clears throat> All of the loan signings have, have gelled together as part of the team this season. Well, I mean, it, to be honest, if, if you don't, I don't know. There might be something about you. You know, you might be a little bit awkward, or I don't know, whatever. Because if you can't get on with this group, you're not going to get on with anyone. So you know, they are a, a real welcoming group, and um, and and the boys have bought into it. Big time, so that's that's been really, really important. Long signings have come in, have been great, but the existing boys that have already been here as well have been great in welcoming them. So, yeah, we've been really pleased with that. Killian Phillips, what precautions have you had to take with a head injury like that, and him getting getting him back up to speed? Concussion protocols, really. That's what we're um, we're going through. So that's basically where that one is. Um, so yeah, just the protocols that we're having to go through with that one. Is there a time scale for him returning? A little bit, yeah, but I'm not going to tell you that yet. Okay. Sorry, uh, not nothing personal. <laughs> Tom Bayliss, um, how's he been? Did he take a big knock at the weekend? Yeah, I mean that one will little be, um, you know, that one will be one that we'll know a little bit more on later in the week. Um, so yeah, that one's that one's one we need to look at later in the week. Yeah. Good to see Rob Street back firing on the score sheet. How hard has he been working? over the last few weeks? Well, I mean, you've already said it in your question, really. You know, how hard has he been working? You know, because otherwise you would have said how lazy he's been for the last six months. But, you know, it's just hard work with Rob Street. Another great lad, come in, unselfish. You know, does a lot of a lot of running, a lot of hard work for, for other people. And um, he's another young boy that's come in and the group have bought into him and he's bought into the group as well. So delighted for him to get off. And, uh, and score a goal last week. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're really pleased with Robert as well. Your players thrive on the big occasion. Ipswich proving perhaps to be a tough nut to crack at the weekend with their run. Yeah, I don't know whether it's we thrive off the big occasion or or not. I, wouldn't, I haven't really looked into that to find out our results against the top sides, really. Um, so, you know, I think, I think what they do, they actually, they want to play... All the time they want to play, you know, and you know I've had dressing rooms before where, you know, and you think to yourself like, why would you want to be a footballer? But you know they they want to get out on the pitch. These boys they look forward to, you know, playing the games. And why why wouldn't you? You know, it's a it's a fantastic sport, you know, and uh, why wouldn't you want to get out there and play? It's it's the best times of your life. I guess um, the, the challenge a little bit different than Morecambe last weekend with Ipswich going for promotion. Uh, well, I mean, I suppose because of the league table, but you know, I wouldn't want to, you know, discredit Morecambe with that. You know, they had eleven players, we had eleven players. You know, and as far as like, I know, unless any rules are changed, Ipswich are going to have eleven on Saturday. So, you know, I, I think I think Ipswich are up there because they've proved over this period of the, the season. You know, they've got. They got an incredibly strong squad. Um, you know, the last time we played them, we were on the back of a real tough game at Wickham away. Then we had Derby midweek, and then we had them on the Saturday. Um, I think they come into that game and made five changes as well. You know, we haven't been able to make five changes all season, let alone make it from a Tuesday to a Saturday. So they've got an incredibly strong squad. We know that, um, but you know, it's a game we're looking forward to. Kieran McKenna doing a good job there as a young manager. It's a tough division, as you well, know. It wouldn't matter if he's an old manager. If he was an old manager or a young manager, being third in the table ain't bad, is it? So, yeah, I mean, all in all, yeah, I would say that, you know, Kieran's done a, a good job there, but he doesn't need me telling him that. Probably or anybody else. You've only got to look at the league table to think he's doing all right. Having said that, they might think they want to be number one. Yeah, he does have little experience. Will you be passing on any experience from yourself after the game? I don't, I don't think he, No, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I doubt it. If he asks for something, maybe, but I don't anticipate him asking. 
and why would he anyway? You know, was he on experience on us being eighth or ninth? He got Pretty, lots of experience as a manager. Yeah, though, but I know. But with pressure. depends on the moments. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, I've been under pressure. I was at, under pressure at Bristol City, I suppose. Um, probably with half the budget Ipswich has got to get out of this league, we managed to do it. Over 100 goals, 99 points. Won the JPT at Wembley as well. So I suppose it was pressure that season. But I'll tell you what, it was a good pressure. And it was really enjoyable. I'm sure if he asks, you'll have lots of good, good insight. Depends on what he asks. You know, I, I don't. Just because I've got experience doesn't mean to say I know the answer to anything or everything, really. Thanks very much, Steve. Thanks. Pleasure.